Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for whenever it resonates. We're going to say 15th, right around September 15th. Uh, if you have a reading booked for today, we are still going to do it. I know that I was sick yesterday, um, but I'm feeling a little bit better, so we're still going to carry on. Um, if you'd like to book a reading, I have opened more slots, and I'm going to put the link below. So what do we have for around September 15th? I've gotten a lot of comments on the six months ago readings. I'm glad that you guys all like that. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback about wow, wow. Um, the link is in the community section to those readings if you want to check those out. A lot of people are shocked. I did them six months ago for this period, and they are resonating. So, anyhow, what do we have for around the 15th of September? Ace of Cups reversed. Ace of Swords upright. So this is about new beginnings, which is interesting. And the Two of Swords, torn. Interesting, interesting. Because we have, I mean, this is quite a contrast right here. So we have somebody here that is indecisive. They are indecisive. They're unsure of which way to go. Torn between two different paths. This is the Sword of Truth. This is the Sword of Power. The Sword of Communication. The Ace of Cups reversed is lack of emotional fulfillment. We have somebody that's not happy, but they're, they're in a situation that they feel some sort of loyalty to. But in all reality, it's like they want to take a new approach. This is a painful, stressful decision. We have somebody here that is probably trying to ignore that they have to make a decision. They'd like to just block it out. You know, if I can block out my emotions, block out the truth and pretend that this is going to go away, that would be best. But we can't do that. We can't do that. So now the, the Ace of Cups reversed is... Uh, emotional shutdown uh, not happy not happy in a situation needing to be honest somebody needs to be honest with themselves you need to be honest you need to take your power you need to be be truthful communicate the truth you can't pretend don't pretend that two of swords is needing to needing a change because twos are about change. You need to take that next step. Somebody is fighting their own emotions. Speak up. Be honest. Be honest with yourself, please. This is a difficult decision. It is a difficult decision. And blocking your emotions and not taking care of your heart is only going to make things worse. Two of Wands. You're at that crossroads right now. This is where you're at that crossroads. You have to choose. They definitely have two ones and we have two twos. You have to choose. You have to decide, do you want to stay in this loveless situation, this heartbreaking situation, or do you want something more fulfilling? I think there's rest restlessness here because somebody knows, they know, they know, but they're in denial. There is denial here. It, twos are about faith and trust. You need to have faith and trust. This is about a partnership. There's definitely being pulled in two different directions. And being honest with yourself. 
is the biggest, well, it's the biggest thing that you need to do. There's, there's definitely lack of emotional contentment here. And you have the option right now, right now, to go in another direction. You just have to choose to take that step. Somebody has to take that step. Ooh, this is leave the past behind. You know, she's walking through the victory wreath. That's leaving the past behind. It's time. This is about moving. Moving towards the future, focusing on the future, a long-term situation has come to an end. You've learned something. You've learned a lesson because this is a lesson has been learned. Now it's time to focus on the future. If something in the past isn't making you happy, leave it there. Make the decision that you have been neglecting to make. Take care of yourself. This is freedom. This is the end. It's the end of a cycle. It's a completion. It's a major completion. It's time. It's time to step into the future. It's time for a new beginning. It's time for your new journey. Some of you are, are thinking about traveling, moving. This is a new destination. About leaving it all behind. Do it. My advice is to do it. This is a whole new you. It's a whole new life. This is a change of residence. A lesson has been learned. You've learned something. You've evolved. You're not that same person. Be honest with yourself. Communicate the truth. Stop hiding your feelings. Open up. Be yourself. This is the completion of a cycle. If there's no love there, it's time to go. It's time to go down that path you've never went down. And I think that's scary. I think it is. It's scary. There's some sort of loyalty to the past, right? If you let the past hold you back, then you haven't learned your lesson. This is taking a new approach. It's time. It is definitely time to take that new approach. It's like you got this idea. You want to do it. But there's some sort of loyalty to somebody that is holding you back. What about the loyalty to you? Knight of Pentacles. Now, this is laying a new foundation. Somebody has an opportunity to lay a new foundation. And this is hard work. But playing it safe is where we're at right now. It's time to use the skills that you have learned. Okay, you've, you've, you've passed the test, right? Or you may not have. I don't know. You've learned some skills. Use them to your benefit. The moon reverse. This is a reality check. This is truth being revealed. Truth being revealed as well. A reality check. This is a reality check as well. So we have a reality check here. Let go of your fear. Step out of your fears. Open your eyes. Stop blocking your own success. There's an opportunity for success here once you leave the past behind. There's a change of residence here for somebody. Somebody may be wanting to move away from something that is emotionally unfulfilling. But for some reason, they know that it's going to be a lot of hard work. It's not going to be easy. They're going to have to communicate the truth. They're probably going to have to face some opposition. They're going to have to open up. And that's not easy. They're going to have to face their fears. And somebody has been choosing to keep it safe. I'm going to play it safe right here. But that cycle is over. It's like there's no life left there. There's, it's a, there's a lack of emotional fulfillment. Somebody, I do believe, is going to face their fears because that moon is reversed. This is a release of fear. 
deciding to go. I think somebody is deciding to go. I do. That world card is a completion. Something that, you know, was a long-term lesson that needed to be learned. A long-term phase, a project. Could be a relationship. Could be a, a job. Whatever. Something that really affected your life for a, a period of time. That taught you some sort of lesson about yourself. You've learned the lesson. Take your skills someplace else. Stop pondering. Stop thinking about it. Do it. Just do it. It's time for a change. Twos are about change. But fear is in the way. Fear is in the way. So, we do have... This is communication. We have a Knight of Pentacles here. Somebody that is uh, a hard worker. This is somebody. This could be. This could be somebody that has an offer for you. This is a stable offer. Something that could be built to last. This could lead to something long term with hard work and effort. So you may be receiving some sort of communication from somebody that is. You know, in some sort of position that can help you. This person may be extending an offer. Communicate. You may be communicating with this person. Could be a banker. Could be um, a builder. Who is this person? This person is somebody that um, has some sort of professional skills. This is a professional that has some some sort of knowledge by the looks of things this person can help help to build that new foundation but it's gonna have to be you have to leave the past behind you have to face your fears you can't you can't keep uh pretending that everything is good where you're at you're going to have to tell the truth to people probably Interesting. Death. Death reversed. So this is a... This holding on is getting old. This has been needing to end for a while. But somebody has been reluctant. They've been reluctant to let go because of fear. This, this has been needed to end. Somebody's let fear get in the way of a new life. But this new life is waiting. Somebody's going to have to find their backbone. They gotta find their backbone to do the right thing for themselves, not let the other person hold them back. There's definitely being held back by fear. Let me get a card. What was this death card reversed? Three of swords. Heartache. Heartbreak. Uh, heartbreaking. Pain. Suffering. Somebody's in some sort of pain. It's a mess. It is a mess. It really is. Somebody has been prolonging their own pain. They have. It feels like this situation has already ended. It's like there's no love here. There's been some tears. There's been a lot of sadness. and It's been hard. It's a heartbreaking situation. But holding on, holding on to this heartbreaking situation because, you know, sometimes honoring your own truth hurts another person. And that's what we got here. That is what we got here. We do have a golden opportunity to, just a golden opportunity to break free. Right now, somebody's going to be given an opportunity. But it's, it's, uh, there could be a sudden departure with that two of wands. That can be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. Um,
this is the end. It's the end of a emotionally unhappy situation. It is coming to an end or this wouldn't be here. Somebody is deciding. I think they are deciding to go. It's the right thing to do. I have to be honest with myself, even though there's extreme fear here. There is extreme fear, and it's heartbreaking. It's, it's hard to break somebody's heart. This is heartbreaking. It is. But I do feel that it's the right thing to do. I mean, I do feel like it is the right thing to do, to be honest, to be upfront, to be truthful, to communicate. Somebody's about to get a reality check as well because we have reality check here, both these cards. There is something that is about to come out, okay? Some sort of message or communication or truth is about to come out. This truth is about an ending, okay? It is about an ending. It's about a completion of some sort. Somebody is deciding to complete. They're deciding to end something because there's no happiness there ace of pentacles reverse now this is a loss i gotta be honest i mean the ace of pentacles reverse is a loss it's a it's a lost opportunity there's nothing that's not stable it's not solid it's there's uh lack of planning as well it's not. It's unreal. This is unreal. There could be a, a death of some... There is a death of something because we have an ending and that death is reversed and that world card is, is, re, is upright. So that is an ending. It's the end of a partnership. And I know that I say that a lot, but we have a partnership that is coming... Somebody may be deciding to go their own way. Um, there's just no stability here. And this is unplanned. It's like, it's, it's like I wasn't planning on doing this but it, the time is now, that kind of thing. Um, this is, uh, you got to do it before you lose the opportunity. The opportunity is right now. Maybe somebody may have lost an opportunity in the past, but I feel, I feel like they're taking it. There's freedom. There is some sort of freedom here with that world card. It's freedom from um, a disheartening situation. There could be a big loss here. Somebody could be losing something. Um, it could be money. Okay, there's a loss of something you can touch. You can't touch. It's over. You, you're losing it. Somebody could be losing something big. Put it that way. They're losing something big with that Ace of Pentacles. It's not stable anymore. Okay, it's just not stable. It's not solid. It's not going to last. There's no... It feels like it's. it's really, really is time. It's time to move. Change, there's a change of residence with that world card. It's like it's time for me to leave it all behind. I have to leave this behind because there's no... Uh, this holding on is getting old. It's, it's, it's too much. I can't do it anymore. I feel like it's too much. It's heartbreaking. Somebody is... I think somebody is letting go of a heartbreaking situation. And I feel like somebody's heart is going to be get broken over this whole thing. Um... There's been a lot of self-deception. Somebody has been deceiving themselves over an ending, not wanting to let it go because it was something to hold on to. You know, it was just something. You know, they, it was something. And that's why they weren't letting it go because they probably didn't want to be alone. Um, or they were scared, extremely, extremely, extremely ex scared. Um, or they felt guilty. Somebody may have felt guilty for the pain that they were going to cause somebody else. Um, but we do have a major completion here. Somebody is deciding. I feel like their heart just can't take it anymore. Okay. There's there's heart issues. or heart. Yeah, there is. With that Ace of Cups reverse and that Three of Swords. It's like their heart is, is broken. Or there's heart pain or heart ache or something like that. Um, Wheel of Fortune, there it is. That's the change of course. The cycle is coming to an end. Somebody is headed in a new direction. They are definitely ready. It's time. This is fate. This is fate. Somebody is destined for a change.
This is a cycle, definitely, that is coming to an end. And there, it comes with a loss, though. This is a loss. Okay, it, as soon as you step through, as soon as you step over that threshold, as soon as you face your fears and leave the past behind, yes, there is a loss, but there's a gain. And there is profit and loss here. There is a gain. There's a gain of a new life. There's a gain of a new beginning. We do have a new beginning here. There could be... Uh, an incident. There's a faded piece of death card. It can be an incident. It could be an accident. It's whatever it is. Um, this is a fated, destined change that breaks somebody free from a situation that they were not in love with. This person is looking at a loss, but they're also looking at a new life. They're looking at a new beginning. Life is always changing, and this is a big change. It is a big change. Somebody is um, about to get a reality check. They're about to get a message that somebody has decided. I know, I think they've decided to move. The lovers reverse. This is the end of a contract. It's a separation. It is. This is. It is. It's a separation. It's the end of a contract. A contract is coming up, coming to an end. There's no compatibility left. There's too much conflict. There's disharmony. Somebody is detaching. And they're doing it out of self-love. So I feel like there's a change of course. Somebody is ending. They've learned their lesson. And it's about self-love. It is definitely about self-love. It has to do with the heart. They're letting go of financial stability. Or they're letting go of something they could ha hold on to that was uh, tangible. You know, it's just, it, that's all it was. It was just something to hold on to. And they're letting it go. And they've been holding on to it for a long time. And they've been holding on just for that reason. But there's no compatibility here. It's not meant to be. And it's like they, they may see another opportunity. There is heartbreak here. There's heartbreak. I think there's going to be some tears. There's sadness. Because uh, somebody has been ignoring the truth. They've been ignoring their feelings. They've been ignoring their heart. And now there's going to be an ending because the reality is it's time for a change. And I do see a separation. I see a split. I feel like uh, it's going to be a sudden decision. I think you didn't. somebody doesn't plan on it. It's very sudden. I think it's an unplanned separation. I think it's just a spur of the moment thing where, you know, uh, all of a sudden, I think it is definitely all of a sudden somebody departs. does this happen? That's my question. How does this happen? This person's thinking about it or they start to think about it. They're, they're, they get some sort of emotion. You know, all of a sudden they get overly emotional. They get overly emotional. They get all in their emotions and then they, they start thinking that it's time to go. And they just leave. Ah, we got the hair font on the bottom. So there's a higher power involved that is guiding their gut. Their gut. Somebody's gut. They may also receive advice. Maybe it's from God. Could be a higher power. Could be could be a priest. Could be somebody that they trust. Somebody that, so that is very spiritual. Could be their own gut. Somebody is receiving some sort of advice. The higher power is guiding somebody out of a situation that is loveless. It happens very fast by the way I feel. I think it happens very, very, very fast. Um, I feel like somebody just decides. They just decide their gut, God, higher power, whatever. They get some sort of guidance that it's time to go. 
and they are going to communicate. They get they get this new. It's like this, this is an awakening. This is a wake up call. Okay, it's like they just decide. This is over. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm sick of holding on to this situation that isn't making me happy. I do see moving. Somebody's moving. There's a change of residence here. They didn't plan it, but they're leaving anyway. Good luck.